Hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft Hardcore Let's Play episode. Pretty sure this is episode 7 now, since I like, well I also have to recover some of the footage from episode, like the original episode 7. But I decided today, why not just start it off with a little bit of villager, you know, infecting so I can get much better profits. These guys have already been infected once up here, so I'm not even going to worry about it right now. These guys, I wanted to go ahead and you know, cure and infect and stuff so I can get the perfect trades and stuff done. But uh, also, because I am needing a ton of uh, bookshelves for the upcoming thing that's going to be done in this video. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, today we are going to be building a mass storage and also a huge enchanting room. Now, why would I need such a huge enchanting room? I don't. I just want to do it because that's what Minecraft YouTubers do, and I really don't give a hell and I put a lot of emeralds that I can just use. So yeah, and also this will mean that our infinite trading process is going to go up by like tenfold, I'm pretty sure. Now this guy tells me name tags for one emerald. Yeah, I should be able to buy pretty much everything for a singular really most of the So now these guys have brought their trades down to one glass equals one emerald, which is awesome. So uh, yeah guy is also good so this means that our profits are going to be skyrocketing a lot so let's actually go ahead and get started by getting some quick and easy raids for you guys and also the reason why i'm getting an enchanted room so lit is that i really want to level up my armor since well i don't really have the best armor as you guys know I, like all my armor most of this has four enchantments on it that are like higher level enchantments but i would like a few spice of life enchantments on it as well which I don't think I'm getting this yet. But, uh, yeah. This guy just needs to cure. And then we'll, we'll be good to go. Uh, so I already did a lot of wood gathering, and I thought of something. With this, like, farm right here, I put down a tree, like, I, uh, put down a tree sapling right here. And then I realized that if I could just, like, you know, do that, if I could just do one more of those somewhere around here, I could have a wood farm, so I don't have to go around anywhere anymore to get wood. Now, I know that there's a lot more advanced wood farms, but those things take hundreds of bone meal to, like, you know, operate, and I only have this bit, so I'm probably gonna add magma blocks to here, and then have, like, the, you know, all the stuff put into these places. We actually are getting quite a bit of bones right now. We already have a lot of other stuff, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go to sleep real quick so we can get these guys to start giving us some more profits. But uh, yeah, and also about the modded series, I died by a creeper, so we're not going to be doing that anymore. But uh, yeah, so make sure you guys also hit the like button and subscribe for some more content because we are actually starting to gain some more subs and it is making me extremely excited because I know that now if I try hard enough that I can maybe get someone by the end of the year. And if I can do that, that'll be one of my dreams in life achieved and start looking a full-time YouTuber. Besides, you know, having to go through high school years. But anyways, so yeah, all these guys are good now. Let's go ahead and actually get started with the big trading system right now. Which is just gonna take a quick second. Let's go ahead and make sure I can get some. Oh, you guys aren't are you guys giving me more, huh? That's weird. Anyway, so yeah, let's go ahead and start buying a whole bunch of bookshelves. The bookshelf drops three books, and these guys will take one book for one emerald, so that's an infinite loop system, pretty much. But by just doing this, it's pretty much. Okay, let's go ahead and layer this. Get all the bookshelves. This we go. Awesome. Grab all these books. Did I leave any behind here? No, I did not. Alright. Then this is the infinite system right here. So I can buy three more bookshelves and then use the bookshelves for but Yeah, then I just use the bookshelves to, you know, get some more books, and then I just keep getting more and more emeralds. So yeah, I do need to set up a much bigger system, though, because, well, this is not going to suit the entire, like, you know, let's play. 
which I am planning on making this let's play the longest thing I've ever done on my channel, which is the longest thing I'm pretty sure I've ever done on my channel is like, you know, something I discovered from it, which is my Subnautica series when I never edited my videos. But, uh, yeah, so I also need to break all of this and, like, have the grass regrow and get rid of this so that it doesn't look as ugly, since this place already looks pretty ugly. I'm probably gonna, uh, you know, mine some, uh, stone with the silk touch pickaxe just so I can, you know, turn this all to stone and brick instead of just cobblestone. You're getting some more like that. We are also at our maximum eggs again, so I think we get, like, another system. I can actually do that right now. I can just go ahead and make a like, chest. Get off top We make another quick system for more eggs. So we have a lot of eggs that I just don't know what to do with since I don't really know if I need more with the roses, which I probably do since I am planning on just doing a different type of farm, which is a slab piglin farm, pretty much, where you just have like a whole bunch of wither roses and yeah. I also have a whole shulker box right here full of eggs, so that's another thing. But uh yeah, so let's go ahead and get to the part of the video. Now I need to quickly start building where the storage system is going to be so i need to I already have kind of a place idea down here i started digging it a little bit earlier this connects to where like you know my old storage system was well, not storage system but old small mine but uh yeah i need to make this four high and yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and actually cut this out with uh like, I'm, I'm not going to cut the video. I'm just going to speed it up. But I'm going to go ahead and cut out all the stone with my silk touch so I can get profits from all the stuff. So I just need to do this and then speed it up. Because we are in desperate need of a storage system that we do not have. So um, This one has a whole bunch of cobblestone in it. All cobblestone? It'll have to do for now. All right, let's go ahead and speed this up. Make sure that I'm recording. Yes, all right, yeah. Let's go ahead and speed this up. Haha, uh -huh, voice of Spooky Mist here, making sure that you guys hit the like button, subscribe for some more content. All right, so we officially have all that set up, and now we just want to go ahead and get the enchanting room part of it also set up. So we also pretty much need to go ahead, and I keep saying also, like I said, we also need to get the enchanting room set up. So I have enough power to make sure to set up that part of the 
anything. I don't know where all my emeralds... Wait, no, wait. All my emeralds are down in the in the brand new place that's supposed to hold them, which is completely finished. I just need to add a few more redstone pieces. Redstone pieces. Glowstone pieces to these edges, as I did over here. But yeah, over here, we are going to be putting a enchanting table right here. And then we'll set up, like, this entire wall to just be bookshelves. And I'll see if that actually does fully put that thing in there. But I highly doubt that it actually does. I don't think I have any lapis, though. You know, I do. I have a little bit of lapis. I definitely need to get a uh, cleric so I can just start buying lapis with emeralds. I went down there to go get my emeralds and never got them. Do I got any in here? No. Okay. Yeah, I also need to start organizing, so maybe that'll be the next part. We also need to fill out this roof as well, but I don't know what I want to use for it. I do, need, I do know that I need to put slabs on top of the chest so they can, you know be opened up at the top, but let's go ahead and get these bookshelves really quick. This will also give us some XP, you know, actually, maybe enchant something this episode. I don't know what we're going to enchant anything. So, we can go ahead and start buying all of the bookshelves that I need. I think I'm going to need 60, so I'm going to need 60. There we go. Did I leave any XP behind? I did. Not there. And that is it. Alright. We are officially at level 30, and we just need to go down here and fill in the wall. Oh no, I'm gonna need a lot more than this, but maybe I can make something work. Let's go ahead and carve out this area. Let me make sure I get every single piece just in case, because I want to make sure that I carve out 60 pieces, so. Okay, how many. How the hell did a cat get down here? Okay. I've already dug out. One, two, three, four, five. So I can pick up five pieces so I can remember the spots. One, two, shoot. One, two, three, four, five. Alright. Let's go ahead and uh, continue. Okay, let's go ahead and check that. So we've dug out ten places so far. Pretty sure we can get up to like 40 right here. Most of this is actually just gonna be their like aesthetic mostly. Above like anything else. Alright, let's go ahead and just build this in. Bookshelves. Actually might be able to do the whole wall, maybe actually. Yeah, I think I can. Yeah, that is pretty possible. Okay. You know, like for a, for a second, I thought that the entire wall took like uh sixty, but then I remembered that no, only like, like all of them combined took sixty. All right, let's go get the stuff for the enchanting table now. I think they're like up here, maybe. I already have the book. I already got all the books to be exact. Uh, where the heck is okay? There's my obsidian, and I found some diamonds. Okay, I found some diamonds right here. No, that's not all the diamonds I had. Oh yeah, did I mention that I made a diamond hoe that I'm gonna probably be turning into a, you know, another thing? I kind of forget what it was for a second. I'm, gonna lie. I'm pretty sure that haste makes your attack speed so much faster, but I'm not too sure. But uh, yeah, what am I doing? Okay, hold up. Maybe like right here, we'll actually. Put a quick and easy. Oh, I already had a crafting table. Okay. So, yeah, the floor right here can just be a crafting table. What if we do that? Okay, that does literally nothing. I'm so stupid. All right. What does this do, though? Nothing. I'm just trying to figure out something, but nothing's working. All right. So, we need. I need two diamonds, actually. I know it's down here. No, I do not. Okay. Where? Did I put them, like, all up here and I used a bunch? What? Or did I... Oh, I probably... Threw them. Oh, no. Here they are. Awesome. Get some more emeralds, too. Alright, so... I'm hoping that I don't have to, like, place bookshelves around it and it can, like, all like that. That, and here we are. An enchanting table, which I never thought I was gonna get. But I do need it for an achievement, so that's also kind of, like, the reason I am doing it. So, does this... I have nothing to enchant. Okay, I have literally nothing. 
Okay, we, we can just do this. Let's make an OP pickaxe. How about that? OP wooden pickaxe. Okay, no, that does not work, so I do have to place a few more around here. So maybe I will get rid of, like, these ends right here. And just replace them with, you know, the oak. Yeah, that'll actually make it look a little bit better. Also, just so I can have, like, this thing at maximum, uh, enchant. Dude, that is bad as well. Alright. So, let's build, like, a small bit of that right there. Now, this thing can actually go, I'm pretty sure, even higher, so... Just like that. And I'm pretty sure if you do this, it can make it get, yep, some pretty OP enchantments. Now I got a whole uh, efficiency four, unbreaking three, and fortune three wooden pickaxe. Guys, this, this is so useful, right? Wow, it actually is. Oh my god, it, how is that actually useful? What? Anyway, so I want to go ahead and uh, get silk touch on my axe. So, do I actually know? Do I want self touch on my axe? I don't know yet. We'll have to wait and see. So, let's go ahead and put everything back down onto my hot bar. And yeah, so that'll pretty much wrap up today's video since we got pretty much the entire thing we did was just get the enchanting room and this. But I also want to like mention this I'm not going to be labeling my, my episodes as episodes anymore. They're just going to be like, I built this, I did this, or I did that in uh, Minecraft hardcore. And the reason being is because I don't feel like I need to, like, specify episodes and stuff. It really just doesn't seem needed. But, uh, let's go ahead and finish off the last part before I do finish off the, ep the episode. Uh, never mind. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and fill this in. So we have somewhere to... This cat is, is just going to be constantly running around. I do need to put, like, a piece of glowstone in the middle. Actually, yeah, I'll have to do something with that anyways. So let's go ahead and just, uh... I feel like one more thing like this. And bring it across. Because probably the next thing I'm going to do is get full netherite armor since... The Trails and Tales update is coming out June 7th, so I don't have much time left. I mean, I've got, like, at least two weeks, I think, to finish it off. But if I don't, then I'm definitely going to need to get this done a little bit faster than what I'm doing right now. But, uh, yeah, I just need to, like, you know, share some sheep and get some beds, pretty much. And then it'll be all done. I think I have, like, some, I have some, just some plain stone right here. Pleasure, I will go ahead and use this. I think at every corner right here, I'm actually going to go ahead and add a piece of that. The corner, and then add. But that's not what I want to do. That is exactly. Oh, I, I could have just mined it with a diamond pickaxe. Are you kidding me? Never mind. Oh, wait, shoot. Oh, wait, that side's already filled in, is it? Oh, yeah, it's that right there. Okay, and there we go. The roof is finished off. Now this place is all lit up. We got an enchanting table now. And did I actually get the achievements? I did, enchanter. So let's look at our advancements before we... Send y'all off. We do need to uh, find a city, so I think over like the next few hours, I'm gonna like start trying to look for a skulk. Well, yeah, uh, I forget what they're called. Underground city, I don't re remember. But uh, yeah, we also need to start getting bees and stuff. We also need to make an iron golem. We also need to do that. We need to get. Trident. We also need to get this. And in the end, we just need to spawn the Ender Dragon and get 
this one. I know there are hidden ones, but I don't feel like getting those. I also need to do Uneasy Alliance, Subspace Bubble, Not Quite Nine Lives. Do these two. I'm not doing Furious Cocktails since that's going to take really, like, like, a lot of dedication that I just, I don't have time for. So, Bucket, Bucket, Catch a Catapult. Oh, yeah, speaking of that, maybe also in the next episode, I will get those uh, creatures that I'm going to name my, my subscribers and three of my friends off of. I might actually do four because three or four because I am just like planning on because one of my friends just like just started watching my videos. I think you know who you are. And if you're seeing this, then uh, be happy about it. But yeah, like I said, this episode's not going to be labeled episode. It's, it's going to be labeled I made a underground enchanting and storage facility pretty much it's not really a facility but a room so yeah if you guys have a lovely day this is me spooky mist signing out in our brand new place see y'all tomorrow